Hello, my name is Andrew Krug and I'm a member of the junior class in Mr. Mursor's AP Language and Composition class. Today I'll be giving a brief talk on my summer reading book that I read titled The Incomplete Book of Running by Peter Sagal. The book is a very reasonable and enjoyable 192 pages in length. It's a very quick read that can be well read through within a few hours of reading put together. The author, Peter Sagal, is known to many as many different things. Some may know him as an author, a marathoner, journalist, or even a Jeopardy contestant. Though he's most recognizable the most as his role as the host of the NPR show, Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. The main premise of the book follows the various events throughout Peter Sagal's personal fitness life that got him to where he is today. From humble beginnings as an overweight kid, to now being a guy in his 40s that's in the prime of his life. If you don't believe me, well he's run a t staggering 25,000 lifetime miles, which is more than one time around the world. Throughout the book, he will talk about all the adversities that he has faced throughout his life, such as his divorce, where running was able to keep him going, even when things got hard. The book is definitely a nice blend between leisure reading and academic reading. If you are interested in physical fitness and running, then it's perfect for you. There are plenty of funny moments to enjoy throughout the book while still being able to gain more knowledge on how to be healthy and how to remain motivated even when life gets hard. One of the best places in the book that showcases this idea is where he says, but while we are running, we leave our troubles behind, if only for a minute, or at the very least we sweat them out. To run is to find some purity in the corrupted world, to find some simplicity among the impossible complexity. It's just running. Something that is constantly evolving throughout the book is the voice and style based on the events that are occurring. Seiko is able to change the style and shift the tone when necessary. For example, his style makes the tone much more somber and sad during the part where he talks about his own personal experience with the Boston Marathon bombing. Then at another point, he's able to be very optimistic and humorous about a bad situation in his life following his divorce. He tries to make the best of it by saying, At the same time, I didn't want to mark this first solo divorce dad weekend by laying around the house eating takeout in my underwear and watching TV. That seemed like a bad way to set the tone. His style is always trying to be upbeat and look at the good that life could bring by taking advantage of the good things in life. Something that Sago has always done. Even when things have gotten hard for him, running has been an outlet for him to escape and feel better. One of the funniest parts of the book takes place when Sago enters into his first ever Cupid run. It's something that he most definitely have to look into at some point. Sago does a very good job of setting the scene on this one by saying, It was 2 o'clock in the afternoon and 30 degrees out warm for a day in mid-February, which was fortunate because I was standing on Market Street in St. Louis in my underwear. I waved my arms around trying to stay warm without hitting anybody with my Cupid's bow and arrow that I was holding. I'm just going to leave you with that much and you're just going to have to find out how the rest of that plays out. When it comes to the book, I think that what readers will love the most or not love comes from the background that they have about the certain topics discussed in the book. One thing's for certain though. Everyone should love and enjoy the comedy that is created throughout the book by Peter Sagal. He is known for his comedy. For me personally, I loved everything about the book because I was able to relate to a lot of what was being talked about and the advice that was being given that I could use in my own life. Being honest here, the most challenging part of the book was trying not to last at least five times during one of my reading sessions. If you ever want a good book that has some really good running advice while also being extremely humorous, then give this book a